Hi guys, I'm Titus and I'm here at BuzzFeed and I'm ready to answer your questions while playing with puppies. My God, I can't. I don't know if this is pleasure or torture. I'm ovulating. Oh, am I supposed to be answering these questions? Would you be roommates with someone like Kimmy Schmidt in real life? Hell no. Hi, baby. Hi. I like my personal space and I love my private time and she has no boundaries, so that would never work. But puppies are always welcome, right? What is your dream role? I don't know that I have a dream role, guys. I'll tell you what I do dream about, though, is always being able to communicate, however that manifests itself. Cooking, a conversation, uh, a great bowel movement. That's my dream. The day that I can't do that effectively um, is the day that I should stop. But that's my dream role, to be able to communicate with you guys and, and to make you feel uh, satisfied. That's the truth. Who would play you in a movie based on your life, me? <laughs> oh, I just realized what you've been doing for the past 15 minutes, just gnawing on my shoes. These things cost a lot of money, diva. Have you ever missed a subtle joke in the show? Oh, all the time. Like, I, I rarely get the jokes. No joke. <laughs> Like I have to reread the script over and over and over again because the jokes are so clever and they go by so fast. What is the biggest thing you value about yourself? Well, that's a good question. Oh God, I don't care what people think about me. I never have. I value people's opinions, but I don't care what they think. As long as I can go to sleep at night and have this conscience clear, and as long as my maker is pleased, that's a wrap. How do you feel about the cast of Unbreakable Kerry Schmidt? Rare is it that you walk onto a set and you experience a, a kismet of sorts. And Ellie Kimber was so warm and so generous and so patient with me. And Jane and I knew each other from theater and from 30 Rock. She's like my, my naughty sister. <laughs> I love those people and I cannot believe it's gone by so fast. It's gone so fast. Hopefully Netflix is forever, online is forever, so hopefully you'll have it forever. What is your favorite song to dance to when you're alone? That's a good question. I don't know that I have a, a favorite song to dance to, but I guess lately, if I can answer it that way, uh, I've been jamming out to Happy again by uh, Pharrell. Because Happy was what I listened to on repeat when I wanted to stay in a, a high conscious state so that I would get this job, and I got this job. So I, uh, I listened to Happy, and I thought I should reintroduce that back into my world. Right, guys? Do you want to read one? What does this say? Exactly. What's your favorite part about playing Titus in Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt? I don't think he's, he and I share much in common outside of our love for musical theater and Diana Ross. I love that what comes up comes out. There's no filter, and in a world where I feel people in an attempt to find their place, find their platform, become overly sensitive. Uh, that Titus Andromedon gave two f**ks and told you exactly what he thought. And it felt so good to be able to do that as someone else, because I cannot do that in the real world. Oh, I, this is so cute. Like, I can't. And what are y'all saying? Uh, how many different colors could be considered too many in one sweater? More than one. Where can we hear and see more of you? Please do an album, movie, podcast, or something. That's so funny. Well, first of all, thank you so much for wanting to see anything that has to do with me. I have a lot of things in the works. I know that sounds so ambiguous, but it's true. And it takes for ever to get anything done here in New York City and in Hollywood. But... I can uh, assure you that you will be satiated when it happens and you will appreciate the fact that it took me so long to do it. But there's a big old concert coming soon. I can't tell you where and I can't tell you what, but you're gonna be excited about that. And I am doing an album. And if all goes well, it'll be out in May-ish. This has been so much fun. <laughs> thank you, BuzzFeed. I wish all my interviews were like this. And thank you to the fans for writing. I love to answer your questions. You guys are very thoughtful. And be sure to watch us in January, on January 25th. 
More Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt now and forever.